we'll get started with the EP Cube 2.0. Same great product as we had before, same great looks, uh, expanded capability. We've got a new gateway, we've got a new inverter, we've got a better developed user interface, we've got a wired user interface that can be permanently installed at the house. A lot of new options with EP Cube 2.0. Big new inverter, 11.5 kW. Our previous inverter was 7.5 kW, limited to about 32 amps per leg. The new one, 11.5, 48 amps per leg. Really robust inverter, power the whole home most of the time. If 48 amps is not, you can double up. You can put two of them on one gateway. 96 amps powers almost every home. Really, really robust inverter, six MPPT channels. Maximum power point tracking for up to six different arrays. You can have six different exposures, shape mitigation, whatever you want. With MPPTs, it really eliminates the need for inverters or any kind of uh, individual panel electronics. Within the app, you can see what each one of the six MPPTs is doing. You can see what the immediate power is coming off that. You can track it, you can troubleshoot, you can do a lot with those six MPPTs. Really robust, 25 amps per channel. You can do up to 550 volts per channel as well. Really robust inverter. DC disconnects right on the side. Super accessible. Really refined this product. We're really happy with the new product. Very, very versatile. The gateway behind me here is kind of the power hub of the home. So you get your power coming in from the grid. You can have power going out to electric vehicle chargers. You can have power coming in from inverters. We do a generator interface. We'll seamlessly integrate with a generator, with a standby generator. We will send a start run signal to the generator. If there's excess power available, we'll even charge the battery from your standby generator. Once it a preset threshold on your app, it'll turn the generator off. So if you want to go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, slide that down. As soon as your generator hits the threshold, it'll shut down. You'll go through the night on the battery without having to listen to the generator. And then in the morning, you can power the system back up with solar power both AC and DC coupled. If you've got existing AC systems, you can bring them right into the gateway. It'll integrate. Your existing AC system will show up right on our app. You'll be able to track what your old AC PV is doing. Expand with your DC PV. Bring in new DC strings. It'll all go into the same infrastructure. IP67 rating, that's new for the EPCube 2.0 product. You'll see on the other side of the booth, we've got the fish tank. We've got the EPCube down in the fish tank. It's sealed. It's rated for up to one meter of water, uh, water depth. And we've got the thousand hours of spray testing. High temperature, low temperature. We can go up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees C, and all the way down to negative 10 or 14 degrees F. A lot of customers that just came up and said, I like it, great looking product. That's what I wanna see on the side of my house. We've got the uh, IF Design Award, the Red Dot Award, the Muse Award. Great design awards for a beautiful product. Great warranty, you know, industry standard 10 year warranty, 6,000 cycles, those are industry standards. You probably won't find that anywhere else. 80% at 10 years, that's really the market leader from a warranty standpoint. Manageable systems. You know, I was an installer, being able to move a system around. If you've got to go down steps mounted on the backside of a house or something like that, you know, the, the dollies, the, the carts, the apparatus that they have for the big heavier batteries just don't work that well. 95 pounds, two people can carry this down steps, get it in, get it up on the wall. Each battery module, 95 pounds, easy lift with two people, stack them up. Integrated modular connection, so when the battery stack, and your communication connection, just by putting the battery right on top. No additional leads, jumpers, or anything else. Once they're stacked up, once they're landed, it's ready to go. Great user interface. We've got a couple demos behind. We've got the wired HMI interface. We've also got the uh, phone interface that we use all the time. We use the phone all the time. It's great, it's like a dashboard of a Prius that helps you drive more efficiently. This helps you operate your home more efficiently. You're looking at it and you can say, okay, I'm running my pool pump at night or I'm charging my car at night. And then you realize in the afternoon, you've got solar power that's going out to the grid. It's like, oh, I need to move my solar. I mean, I need to move my pool or my car into the afternoon. Utilize that power, don't put it out on the grid. 
get full maximum potential of your system, use our, our application. It'll really help you manage your system. All-in-one design, you know, this is really a great building block product. You can start with the small unit and you expand all the way up to the big unit. The components, you don't have to get rid of anything, update anything. You can just simply add components to it. You can expand, easy. VPP, we're enrolled in eight different VPP networks. So if you want to take advantage of the economics of a virtual power plant, we're there, we're in the virtual power plant game. So get full utilization of your equipment and full economic value through the VPP programs. Totally redesigned bracket for 2.0. We had a lot of individual, it was like a, a rector set doing our 1.0. We got a lot of feedback that said, we're, in, we're drilling four bolts in the wall, masonry walls, whatever. We're down to four bolts on the wall bracket plus two bolts to hold the base down. Six, six penetrations into your walls and you're done. More entry points from the gateway. We've got back, bottom, sides, and top. Wherever, you, wherever it's convenient to come into the gateway, we allow access points, knockouts, all ready to go. No more drilling on the site. New for EPQ 2.0, in addition to the two ports that we've had in the past, we're now integrated with smart breakers. So you can manage your smart breakers right through the EPQ app. The breakers can sit inside of the gateway. They can also sit in your existing panels. You can put a smart breaker in your existing main panel or your existing sub panel and control that within the EPQ app. And you can manage that smart breaker off a of state of charge of the battery. If you've got a piece of equipment like your air conditioning compressor that you only want to run, if you've got more than 25% state of charge, you can program it in such a way so when your battery runs down to 25%, it disables that piece of equipment so you don't run the system down flat overnight. Keep your refrigerator, keep your food cold, keep the lights going, keep the internet on, keep the security going. You can manage all that using the smart breaker. Very, very versatile portfolio, as, as I've said a couple times. You've got the, the light unit without backup capacity. And then if you want the backup, the full system with the gateway and all the expansion capacities that come with the gateway. Very robust. This is what the inside of the gateway looks like. Breaker for service entrance rating. This is service entrance rated. If you've got a meter service panel with no disconnecting means, you can go straight into our gateway. And with the breaker, we are, go we are service entrance rated. Non-backup port. If you've got something that you just don't want to back up, let's say you've got a well pump or something that is non-critical and you just don't want anything but grid power going to that, you can come off of our non-backup port. So whenever the utility goes down, the power goes down on that and it won't waste any of the battery energy or the PV energy on that power supply. Regular standard breakers, off the shelf breakers from your local Home Depot or your local supply house, no more DIN rail European style breakers inside. So we've got um, breaker spaces, you can use those for loads. So this effectively becomes another sub panel that you can add loads to. Feed through, this is where you tie in your, your downstream loads, your panels downstream. And then in the middle, you've got our two smart ports. And this is where you would tie in your ACPB or your generator. This is where we have the parts and smarts to do the generator synchronization. So we could do seamless transition to or from a generator. Greatly simplified wire box for the inverter. You've got your MPPTs that just simply land right here. The uh, rapid shutdown is pre-installed, pre-wired. You don't need to worry about the rapid shutdown transmitter in your inverter. And then the connections out to your gateway or from your hybrid directly into your, if you're in a light configuration, you wanna go straight into a panel, just plug in right here. RJ45 style jacks for your CTs, your communication, all your other little lines that go in and out. Really, you've got a CT that would be for partial backup. We will measure that so we can cover the load for all the house, not just the backed up load. And then if you, uh, your CAM bus goes right in here and uh, your generator start cable also goes right in there. That's it, that's EP Cube 2.0. We'll be around here. And uh, thanks for hanging out and appreciate it.